Welcome back, friends and neighbors. It's Friday, September 8th, 2023. Born on this date, and we have several to choose from. In 1900, Claude Pepper of Dudleyville, that's in Chambers County, longtime U.S. Senator and Congressman representing Florida. In 1940, Willie Tyler of Red Level, I think the first ventriloquist we've mentioned on the birthday section. In 1946, Dean Daughtry of Kinston, keyboardist for Atlanta Rhythm Section. And in 1992, Zadarius Smith, currently a defensive end with the Cleveland Browns and a big old boy. And we have a couple of crime stories. One, the sentencing of the teenager who killed five members of his family. We have the ongoing dispute between Charter and Disney affecting how some people get to watch their ball games. And we have a salamander and the debate over whether it ought to be considered endangered. My name's Ike Morgan and we're down in Alabama. The Elkmont teenager who killed five family members has been sentenced to life in prison without parole, reports AL.com's Howard Koplowitz. Mason Sisk was only 14 years old in 2019 when he shot and killed his father John Sisk, stepmother Mary Sisk, and three siblings, six-year-old Kane, four-year-old Rory, and six-month-old Colson. Now, the charges were capital murder, but Sisk did not qualify for the death penalty because he was a minor. According to the Coleman County Sheriff's Office, one of its deputies shot and killed a dispatcher and then killed himself while the two were on vacation together, reports AL.com's Warren Kulo. And the office said that Deputy Kenneth Booth Jr. and Alexis White had been dating and that an argument between the two in Orange Beach led to Booth drawing a weapon. Note that Orange Beach police are still investigating this crime. Alexis White was only 23 years old. Sheriff Matt Gentry said she had worked at the sheriff's office since she was 16, joining a newly formed youth leadership academy. Sheriff Gentry said, I am literally heartbroken. I feel like Lexi is one of my own kids. Auburn is playing at Cal, and Texas is playing at Alabama on Saturday, and the current dispute between Disney and Charter Communications has Spectrum viewers still caught in between. They're fussing about distribution fees as more and more customers cut cable, and it's resulted in Disney pulling networks that it controls from Spectrum. Now, that includes ESPN, which is airing both Auburn and Alabama games on Saturday. You may have gone through this last weekend, but if you have internet, then streaming options are available to get you through. Fubo TV and DirecTV Stream were two that did have options to do a free trial. The Associated Press quoted analyst Rich Greenfield of Lightshed Partners. He wrote, Could this end up being a watershed event for linear TV business that also blows up the entire sports media ecosystem? Sure. However, we have lived through enough of these battles to know that they usually end in an agreement. The Eastern Hellbender, now that's a salamander, not a heavy metal band, might get federal protection after a judge ordered a new look at the species, reports AL.com's Dennis Pillion. Back in 2019, the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service passed on an opportunity to protect the hellbender, but several environmental groups challenged that decision, and a district court judge ruled it arbitrary and capricious. The argument is that the previous decision had relied on unproven repopulation efforts to claim that the salamander was safe from extinction. The eastern hellbender is aquatic. In Alabama, they're mostly found in the Tennessee River system. They're also huge for a salamander, sometimes growing longer than two feet over their 25 to 30 year lifespans. Hey, thank you all so much for listening. We really appreciate it. Have a great weekend. We're going to be back here on Monday to do it again. Until then, come by and see us anytime you want to, 24 hours a day, seven days a week on the World Wide Web at AL.com.